Well, hey guys, and welcome to another Pokemon Wi-Fi battle. This time with... Well, I'm not sure, actually. I had this battle on the stream, like, last Saturday. And, as you can see, I just put P for their name. I guess their name started with P, so I just abbreviated it. So, if this is your battle, go ahead and say so. For now, I'll put Lucy in the title, because that's their game name. So, let's go ahead and get started. And there's also another battle that I'm missing. I can't find the video file. And I remember they started with a shiny Zangoose. And I don't remember who that was either. But I can't find the video file. So I'm kind of skipping that one to this one. So anyway. Starts with a shiny Sand Slash caught in a timer ball. I'm like, wow. So I'm thinking we're both going to set up Stealth Rock. So yeah, he does do that. I'm like, okay. So like the other match, we both set up Stealth Rock. And now... I could switch out, but like, I might as well roar. It does go for Earthquake, which, you know, you know okay. Let's see how much it does, I guess. And look how much it does, I mean, man. <laughs> so, I just make that thing go away, and out comes Espeon. Oh, man. Out of all the Pokemon that they could have possibly had. So, I'm guessing it's going to have Grass Knot, or even Psychic would do a lot to me since I have a pretty little special defense. So I'm trying to come up with something to switch out to, and I go little birdie. You know, just my main guy to take hits, pretty much. And he, I, I get some good eyes, which will come in handy later on. And I do kind of predict that grass knot, but it does do a lot. I don't know, it did a lot more than I would have expected. So I'm here thinking, can I go for Ice Beam or Thunderbolt? Thinking about it, I think I should have gone for Ice Beam. I go for Thunderbolt instead because... Yeah, right here, when he's switching out, like, oh no, he wants a Sand Slash. But, goes to Lantern. Like, oh, okay, and a Dive Ball, too, cool. So, take some Stealth Rock, and he'll back up. <sighs> so, at least Ice Beam would have done some damage. I don't know, it would have been better. And because of that, 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 that Sand Slash, so, whatever. It goes for Toxic, and this is where Synchronize comes in handy. See? <laughs> now, uh, I don't know what I was thinking here. I went for Thunder Wave even after seeing Volt Absorb. I don't know. But at least I got poisoned with the Synchronize, so uh, okay. And there was not much I could do. Like, my only attacking moves are Thunderbolt and Ice Beam. Ice Beam won't do anything, so I really have to get out of there. And, but I really wouldn't have wanted that poison on Little Birdie. Because I do go to Ami here, the Leafeon could have taken the poison. I mean, it's choice scarf, so I don't think I'll keep it in too much, like, for too long. So I take the surf. Uh, not too well. I don't know. That does look like a lot to me. And get some leftovers and some toxic as well. So now here it comes the obvious leaf blade. I did a really... I don't know. I did some really obvious choices, I guess. There wasn't really much I could risk, I guess. I guess. So, Toga Kiss comes out like, oh man, what can I do to this thing? So I got a Leaf Blade. Again, I'm Choice Scarf, so I can't really change my moves. Even then, I don't have anything else to attack this Toga Kiss. I have Quick Attack, which is, I just have it there because I don't have anything else. X Scissor, and then Wish, which I haven't used as of yet. So, I gotta get out of there. Uh, Leaf Blade doesn't do anything, even if it was a crit. It'd take a while. So, I get out, and especially fearing the air slash. I don't get to Mulgara. And yeah, still the wrong sure. And it goes for a roost. So there was nothing I could do about that. So now it's at full HP after that stealth rock. Yeah. <laughs> the stealth rock isn't coming to handy here. And now I'm thinking, oh I'm safe in here since it only has air slash and then it goes for Aura Sphere. Like, ah great. And Toga Kiss are pretty special attacking and it takes me out one hit, so no surprise there. I was going for Explosion, actually, because Mulgara was has been alive for, like, way too long, so... Oh well, now it's dead. And then I gotta bring in something else, so... I'm thinking, hey, super effective moves. Hey, Mr. Mercer has Thunderbolt, so I can go for that. Get some more Stealth Rock, and we don't mind, because... I go for Thunderbolt. And just to see how much it does, I don't know, if I could've gone for a... A, a nasty plot, but I know I'm faster, so it's like whatever. Because Toad Kiss are like 284, I think. And my Miss Marissa is max speed, but goes for Thunder Wave. Ugh. So, 
there goes all my trying to take out this Togekiss speech there. And it goes for Roost, and now because of Roost it's a normal type, so I have no way of dealing super effective damage now with this Magius here. Yeah, see a Thunderbolt, I don't know, I could hope for a Paralyze, at least, uh, but I don't. Like, uh, So, there's not much I can do now. I, I was thinking about at least lowering its speed with Icy Wind, but I go ahead and switch out. I, I figured it was a better move, I guess. Yeah, maybe I should have gone for Icy Wind. Hmm. We'll see after this very long thinking turn. There we go. Okay, so he switches out to Lantern. Ah. And did I switch out? No, I don't even remember. I don't. Oh, I. Oh, man. I actually risked the nasty plot then. Okay. So I don't remember this part, but I go for that. And for some reason, he brings in Lantern. I don't know. He probably felt pity for me. I'm like, how horrible I'm doing it right now. So. Here we go with our moves, and he goes for Surf now. Miss Magius is pretty special defensive, so doesn't really take it that good now that I think about it. But I go for Shadow Ball, which will take it out. I mean, after that nasty plot, it's bound to be dead, and with the Toxic, so it's dead. And now I'm really low in HP, especially with all that losing HP with the Life Orb. So now I'm at 50 and paralyzed. There's not much hope for Mr. Marissa at the moment. Well, he switched out to Weavile, so... <laughs> I don't know, there's no way I can outspeed this thing. So I might as well just uh, admit the fate that Mr. Marissa has. I was thinking about switching out, but like, like I said, I have to admit there's nothing else I can do about it. Even if I switch out on Stealth Rock, it's just going to kill it. So I might as well let it die. I did try to Thunderbolt that at least, for some reason it missed, but it just goes for 100 Accuracy Night Slash. No, just a... Uh, an easy kill. So I gotta switch out to something else. And again, I do another obvious play. I could have gone for Arcanine here, at least. But I go to Ami, like, oh yeah, I can exit it since I'm Choice Scarfed. I don't know, because he wouldn't think I'm Choice Scarfed yet. So yeah, that was my thought process. Now I remember. Yeah, but he switches out. Like, Great. So I go to Togekiss. And I, yeah, it takes a stealth rock, that's nice. And I go for X Scissor, Ugh, like the second time in a row, I do the same mistake. And now I'm stuck in X Scissor because of the Choice Scarf, so I gotta get out of there again. And this Togekiss, oh, it's starting to be a problem, so I gotta switch out. And uh, I keep on thinking. Oh, yeah, you'll see how <laughs> bad I have. Let's Togekiss problems, oh man. So I finally decided to switch out to Genesis because it is special defensive. I can't remember if I did max it out. I don't think I did. I think defense is like neutral, but it is a careful nature at Lapras. So I think I split HP with special defense? I don't remember. So anyway, he went for a Roost there, and then I get Aura Sphered here. And here, I believe I go for Curse. Yeah, because I was pretty sure I could take the Aura Sphere. And I do, and then I go for Curse. And seeing how much that Aura Sphere did, I'm like, okay, it looks like I could survive. So I go for Rest, and trying to pull out the Chesto Berry there. But he goes for Air Slash, like, oh no. So here's what Togekiss are famous for. For flinching, because they have Serene Grace. I'm like, ah, so if it wasn't for that, I could have got fully healed. But also, I should have gone for Ice Shard. At least it could have been two hits, you know? So I don't know why he went for Aura Sphere there. I mean, he didn't go for Aura Sphere. Now he does, yeah. And that Ice Shard was a crit. So at least if I hit it twice. Uh, Trolls? Uh, there we go, okay. It keeps pausing by itself, like that last, I think in the first video, like it paused by itself, I don't know why it does that. So, Aura Sphere takes me out, and uh, i gonna switch out again. Now, I sent out Poochie, just, I don't have much else to do, because of the, um, yeah, you remember, like, uh, the roosting and stuff, so it loses its normal, uh, I mean, it's flying typing, so I can't really send out Porygon 2. So, I go for Flare Blitz. 
just to get some huge attack on it. And look it! You can't even see it! It survives! Like, no! It, it gets a thunder wave on me, so... Like, the same thing with Miss Magius. I was faster, but now thunder wave. <sighs> At this point, I really regret it not having extreme speed. Like, it's so close to dying. I could only extreme speed. <sighs> so... It goes for Ruth. There's nothing I can do about that. And because of it doing that much, I mean, it, like, Flare Blitz isn't a super effective move, it would have done the same damage. And I get paralyzed. Oh, man. So, Lux not being on my side today. And I just go for another Flare Blitz here. And it goes for Air Slash. Oh, man. And I survive. Like, what? <gasps> Lychee! Yes! And, like, this is it. No! <laughs> I flinch again. I was paralyzed. I could have been paralyzed, I mean. Uh, but if only I attacked there. It would have taken it out because of the lychee boost. And that would have gotten rid of that Togekiss. So now he goes for Aura Sphere. And that pretty much takes me out. So, I'm really running out of options by now. Uh, if only I didn't flinch there. Seriously. Hmm. So, whatever, I gotta keep moving on. I gotta think of something else to do. So, I sent out Little Birdie, that's poison still, so it ain't looking too good. But I, I do get Serene Grace, now I'm thinking, what if I Ice Beam and I'd have a higher chance of freezing it? So, I do go for that. I don't know, I, I was also thinking about Thunder Waving it so it can't outspeed me, since it can't paralyze me since I'm poison. But I, I go for Ice Beam instead just to try to kill it. But he gets a critical hit, which I didn't notice until after the match. Uh, the guy told me, I really wish I could remember your username. Oh, man. But I remember he said that. Like, oh, sorry for the crit on the Porygon, too. So, it would have probably mattered since I, I am special defense. But it is bold nature, the Porygon, too. But it does have special defense EVs in it. So, I think this is my last one, Ami. Which, oh, man. Third time against this Togekiss. I just go for Leaf Blade. There's not much I can do. I was just thinking about using Wish just to show it off. But uh, I don't even get a crit. And he goes for Air Slash, of course, and he gets a crit. Like, wow. <sighs> so, that's it for Ami, and that is it. Oh, man. So, G is 5 6. <sighs> <laughs> well, I can see I have Togekiss problems. That's all I can say about that. And again, if the guy, if you. Just notice that, like, hey, that's my bell. Just go ahead and tell me, and then I'll go ahead and put in the title. So for now, I'll just put Lucy. So that's it, guys. I have, like I said, I also, I lost one battle from the stream. So, uh, I, I, I remember it was a guy named Mew something something something. It started with a shiny Zangoose. So that's it. So sorry, guy. I don't know what happened to your video. But it just got lost. I don't know. But also, I have one more video, and I'm going to be streaming on Saturday, so there's probably going to be more battles. Yeah, I do have some other guys that requested a battle, so we'll have some more. And also, I'll be uploading these Wi-Fi battles on Thursday night, like Friday-ish, for now on, instead of just random days. And like, I uploaded one on Monday, this last Monday or something. So, I, uh, for now, I'll have the schedule of being Thursday night, or Friday, around there. So that's my schedule for Wi-Fi battles, and then Liquid Crystal Parts or whatever Let's Play is on at the moment will be uh, every day as usual. So, cool, huh? Well, that's it. Ah, oh, man, Togekiss. <laughs> that's all I gotta say. So, with that, guys, I'll see you later.